And I gotta make videos like this instead of out there enjoying my stinking little life to help awaken people because I'm commissioned from on high. I gotta live with myself. I gotta have a clear conscience. I've gotta be true to myself. So that's why I make videos like this to try to help wake people up because I want to be happy. In order for me to be happy, you have to be happy. And all you establishmentarians that have deluded yourselves into believing you could find happiness in this sick system, let me tell you what, you're lying to yourself. You're lying. You invite the Spirit of God into your life, into your heart and your mind, and you live accordingly, you think accordingly, you speak accordingly, and you do accordingly. Because if you don't, you are gone and you are already in hell whether you know it or not. It's like Jesus said. He said that make sure when it came to, to money and God, you cannot serve two masters. You will either hate the one or love the other. Okay? But you can't do both. And many people that have deluded themselves into believing they can find happiness while countless others, increasingly so, suffer unnecessarily because of monetary based invention of an establishment. Money. It's got no intrinsic value. But the light within so many people is what Jesus called darkness. So it's like Lucifer. It's an angel of light. It's a deception. Don't believe it. You can't have true happiness and deny your conscience for crying out loud. Come to your senses, folks. Give a damn. Speak out. Silence speaks volumes. Be true to yourself. Be somebody. Care. Give a damn. That's all it takes. It's saying, you know what? That bum in the gutter, he really thinks he's a no good piece of crap. You know what? And I'm going to let that guy know that to God, he's worth every bit as much as any other human being on the face of this earth. That he's a precious treasure. And that God loves him with all his might. And that the most any of us can ever really have is the love of God and we get that pouring out to us in immeasurable quantities and he's a merciful forgiving God remember that so you have a chance if you repent but if you keep it up you're going to hell do you realize how many suicides are caused by financial oppression how many divorces broken homes all those kids suffering out there their parents have to give up the home because of what you've done to them and you think you're not going to hell think again Think again, okay? Anyhow, I think I'm gonna end this video. And I hope everybody out there that's ever listened to me speak understands that, believe it or not, I'm, a, I'm as happy as I can, I'm enjoying my life, okay, under the circumstances. And I do laugh, I enjoy watching a sitcom here and there. And, uh, and I could be a fun guy to be with, believe it or not. But the way that happens for me is by getting things off my chest, by speaking truth as best I know it. And you can know truth. Otherwise, nobody would ever seek truth. Nobody would ever seek wisdom because it'd be unattainable. It is attainable. And when you get it, you see, oh my God, what a mess we're in, man. You understand? I mean, this thing has got inertia. Okay, so, you know, the idea of stopping poverty at some point and, 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 and having a sense of a backwardation of poverty. So the disparity, instead of growing between haves and have-nots, was shrinking. Okay, that's an appalling thought to these people at the top. They don't want that. Do you think your landlord wants you suddenly to be able to be a homeowner? His business is being a landlord. Unless you're kept under his thumb, okay, then he's out of business. Do you get how sick this whole thing is? What this thing, this thing called money has done to us? It's turned us into a bunch of animals. Okay, They'll have, they'd love us to start devouring each other. You've got price fixing out there. Do you understand the dangers of price fixing? Okay, I don't give a crap if they fix prices like we know on diamonds and, and so many other things that are just luxury items. I don't give a crap about that stuff. I'm not talking, my complaint isn't about those things. I'm complaining about price fixing when it comes to essential human needs like food, housing, and palatable water. Potable water, okay? That's what I care about. Because those are the things none of us can get away from. Okay, we're trapped. We need those things. That's where I object. You're killing people. That's what price fixing does. 
people say, oh, they don't want to do that. They need consumers. That would be true. In a free market supply and demand based economy, that would be true. That's the illusion they want you to believe. That's what they want you to believe about immigration. That it's all good for business. Ask the Chamber of Commerce. Ask landlords. Ask the people at the supermarket. Or everybody that's making money off a higher population. Okay, all the employers out there with the cheaper labor. Okay, but with price fixing, none of that, all that stuff is moot. Do you understand? It's all off the table. It doesn't matter. Because no matter how few people are buying their crap, they'll put it on their backs as much as they can. They just raise the price. So instead of selling quantity of stuff, they just raise the price. So if they used to have to sell two uh, widgets to make a profit, now they only have to sell one. And they can make even more profit just by raising your cost of living. A hidden tax. You understand? that they've turned us all into sons of hell. Just paying your rent, just paying your mortgage, just paying your taxes, you consent to this system. Well, I'm not gonna do any of those things without at least speaking the truth to everybody that needs to hear it. And a lot of it's you mainstream media, you politicians, okay, and you top banksters out there, okay? Because you gotta assume your local bank is gonna get away with whatever they can. Okay, whatever is not going to throw, lend them in the, land them in the slammer. Okay, it's about the policies that emanate from the Federal Reserve Bank, the most powerful currency in the world because it's the world reserve currency. They've caused problems all over the world. I got a friend from Palestine. I talked to him. You know what they do in Palestine? They buy people houses. It'd be cheaper to just do that than set up these agencies with these high-paid jobs that revolve around the problem of poor people that can't afford to pay their rent. And then they're paying their rent in perpetuity. If you just bought somebody a house, at least it'd be done and paid for at some point, then they could pay property taxes. The same with the, the crime. All these prisoners that cost 50,000 a year per inmate in California to keep them in jail. I say give them 25,000. Say, look, keep your nose clean. There's not enough jobs out there. Go surfing, go skiing, okay? Take a cross-country trip, take a cruise, do what you want to do, hang out on the beach, man. But there ain't enough jobs. Maybe if you really want, okay? But you gotta want that job if you, you know, because you're already, you know, you got 25 grand a year and you don't need the money, okay? No, they don't want to hear this. They don't want solutions. The last thing they want is for the people of this planet to get a taste of freedom. Because that's what sound currency would bring. It would bring freedom, not just for me, but for you and for everybody else. Because eventually you have a level playing field. And you disincentivize all the evildoers out there that are all about money. That love money above all else. They love money more than you. And millions of, uh, billions. I mean, if it came down to so many people, establishmentarians, that are doing good in this system. They got a nice portfolio. It's working well for them. If they had a choice between... Half the people of Earth dying in a nuclear war or them keeping their fortunes. What do you think they'd take? Yeah, you know it. A lot of them would take money. You think they're not going to hell? Okay? God is not mocked, folks. God is not mocked. And you remember that. You put that in your pipe and smoke it. You think I'm the crazy one for being an idealist? Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. No, it's you. You're the crazy one. Jesus said, be ye perfect as your Father in heaven is perfect. Okay? And it is written to have nothing to do with the fruitless deeds of darkness, but rather to expose them. And that's what I'm doing right here. And I know right from wrong. Everybody does. But we're not taught it in school, are we? We're not taught the golden rule has any value. Just pure, simple ethics of treating others in life the way you want to be treated. You be willing to be on the other side of your business transactions. That's what I'm saying. Sound currency, folks. Okay, where tomorrow you're richer than today. You're feeling more secure. You're feeling more at ease. There's more of a bounce in your step, more joy. Your work week continues to decline because of sound currency. You get where all this heads, folks. You get why I'm passionate about these things. You get why other people are and why they're beside themselves with indignation at all, that, all, all these 
uh, these injustices that just seem to perpetrate and keep on increasing and perpetuate. I, it, 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 it's sickening. And I'm tired of it. And the relief I get is doing little videos like this. Whether anybody listens to it or not, I don't know. Okay? But even one person out there that picks up on it, and he spreads the message. And that's the way it works. Because it's coming, folks, and nothing can stop it. The wicked people that have been running this world, they would love to stop one thing from happening, and they can't. And that's the truth coming out. Okay? That is, that is valuable education. Okay? That's, that's accurate information. That's what leads to wisdom and knowledge. And that is the time we're living in, folks, when they cannot get away with this anymore. But they're going to be like a mad bull in a china shop. They're going to wreck up the joint as much as they can before they're forced. They're forced to stop. Just because there's no more minions left to fight their fights, to pay their bills like they're big fat leeches. That's what they are. They sit there and they suck, suck off us. When really the most valuable thing this any nation has going for it is its workers. Because nothing gets done without labor. And yet look how they're subjugated. Look how they're marginalized. Look how they're treated. Like second class citizens. And without them you'd all starve to death. You'd all go without water and electricity and gasoline. Without getting your automobile repaired. You understand how I see. See, folks, you see. You can see if you try. You ask God, you say, God, please help me to stop being evil. I'm addicted to it. I love money. I love the system. You better stop doing that because you know where it leads. You get to go hang out in a world with people just like yourself. That's what's going to happen. That is exactly what's predicted. Jesus said, when I return, he said that I'm going to separate the people the wicked from the righteous, like a shepherd separates his sheep from the goats. That's what's coming down, folks. That's what's coming down. And then all you hypocrites, all you people that have lived by a double standard, okay, all you elitist scum out there, you get to go hang out together. How much fun is that going to be for you? And you think I'm not your friend? I'm your best friend and people like me are. Warning you, warning you, just like Jesus did and he was hated for it. Well, I don't know how you can hate me. I don't know how you could hate Jesus, but you did because he stood up for truth and justice and righteousness and mercy. Anyhow, folks, I think I'll wrap it up and uh, I hope you had a good day and uh, you have a good day and uh, hopefully we'll get to talk again sometime, huh?